Hello, this time we are going to make a flat cube grid with Niagara. First, create a material to be used in Niagara. Next, create a particle color node and a dynamic parameter node to set parameters in Niagara. Set the name to adjust the emissive intensity in the first index of the dynamic parameter and multiply this parameter with particle color, shown in the video, so that the intensity of the emissive color can be adjusted in the Niagara system. Next, create a Niagara after adding an empty emit. First, add spawn particles in grid, and after clicking on Fix Issue, it will add a grid location to the particle spawn. Next, in the spawn particles in grid, set the Z count to zero to create a grid flat. Next, create a mesh renderer instead of a sprite renderer in render. As shown in the video, set the cube to the mesh and apply the material created at the beginning in override material. Next, in initialize particle, set the mesh scale mode to non-uniform to reduce the size. And in grid location, adjust the value of XOAC dimensions to adjust the spacing between cubes. Go back to initialize particle and set the color mode to random hue. And if you set the color and hue shift range like the video, you can see that the colors of the cube grid are colorfully and randomly set. To lighten these colors a little, create a dynamic material parameter in particle update. And if you set the value in the first index created earlier in the material, the cube colors become brighter. Next, add the scale mesh size, and set make vector and scale factor to decompose vector into x, y, and z. Set x and y to 1 to set the original size and z to set multiply float to increase the size. Then add a sign to multiply float b, and set signs period to random range so that the cube's z size is set randomly. And if you set the sign values like the video, you can see the cubes move randomly in height. Current cube height moves up and down. Let's set this to only move upwards. Create a new scratch from particle spawn. Set the particle variable position in map get. Then, using break position, the currently set particle positions are decomposed into x, y, and z. And make each of the position vectors decomposed in the map set into particle variables like the video. When you have finished setting the parameters, click Apply. Add system location in Particle Update. And like the scale mesh size, the offset is decomposed using make vector. By setting the X, we'll have the previously set vector variables to offset. The particles that were placed on the center are placed back to their original state. Set add flow to ziv offset and set position variable Z. Then after setting the multiply float, set the scale that can call up the size of the current particle and set it to Z channel. And set the B of the multiply float to 50 so that the position rises upward by the increased size. After setting local space to move the emitter in the level, save it and return to the content drawer. Now see if the grid moves well.